Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the wedding vlog. This vlog will be about the wedding preparation before the wedding, wedding ceremony and what we do after the wedding. Hope you enjoy and continue to watch. It's Monday morning, um, day after the henna function. We are all at my sister-in-law's house. There is a lot going on at the same time. The wedding is tomorrow, obviously due to COVID-19, there is a restriction on the number of people you're allowed. For the wedding, the total number of people we're allowed is 60. The bride did find it difficult to find a venue or a restaurant for the wedding. She did book a restaurant which cancelled on her last minute. In such short notice, she was very lucky to find a hall near her house a week ago. So at the moment, my husband's aunt's daughter is making the pantal. For everyone who is not familiar with this, in English it's called beetle leaves and areca nuts. It's eaten in many Asian countries and can be part of their daily lives. There are different fillings you can eat with it. Um, it's up to individual preferences what they like to have. So she has made two tiles. One is for the bride to take in the groom's house and one is to be eaten in the wedding venue. All she has to do now is wrap them up. On the other side of the marquee we have family members making fitter. The fita will have to be steamed and then we have to let them cool down before we wrap it. My middle sister-in-law is making muruku. The muruku and kaja are being displayed on the tal ready to be wrapped up. These two have been made with flour and they have meat inside them. This is called Gurur Handesh and Plain Handesh. Every single item has been made by members of the family. These two have coconut in them, samosas and there's so many other items which have to be wrapped up and we're going to have ribbons around them. Then they are ready to take to the wedding hall tomorrow. Usually we take breakfast the next day of the wedding for the bride and groom and the groom's family. Because the groom's house is quite far, we decided just to give the breakfast with the bride um, on the wedding day and we decided to go a few days later. Bride has finished making her own wedding cake, um, she just has to decorate it. Also she made her favours which is shortbread biscuits with fondant on top. We have family members helping out, they are doing the favours, they are sticking the fondant on to the shortbread. They are using gold metallic food paint to paint on top of the fondant. Now we will start wrapping them, put a ribbon on the side and they will be ready for the tables in the wedding hall. The groom side gave this wedding jewellery, she will wear this jewellery with her wedding outfit. And the groom side gave gold which she will wear on another day. Also the nikah is going to happen tonight. It's easier to do the nikah the day before the wedding. We have just got in the house. I have my brother-in-law and his family from London staying with me for the wedding. It's 2am in the night. My daughter is making Biscoff cheesecake for the wedding hall, dessert table. She's nearly done. I will leave you all for now and I shall see you later. Everyone in my house is ready and now we are off to the wedding venue.
We have just arrived at the venue. It's 1 p.m. lunch time. This is the dessert table. The bride and few cousins、um, came early in the morning to set up. Bride finished her wedding cake early hours of this morning. It was very difficult for her to do as the kitchen was always occupied. She did a fabulous job and the cake looks beautiful. Before the groom is allowed to enter the hall, the younger members of the family ask for a fee. It's just for fun, and it's a tradition we do. The bride has arrived. The bride is making her entrance now with both her brothers on each side. The groom has moved to the side table. Bride looks stunning, and her gown is beautiful. This is the groom's food pal that a member from our family made for the groom. Also, the bride has one as well. Groom will eat this pal with male members of his family and some from the bride's family. Now it's time for me to eat. I will see you in a bit. We have all finished eating, and now it's time for the groom to join the bride and exchange rings. Also, cut the cake. The younger girls made the groom some garlands to put around his neck. It's just to make him feel a bit more comfortable and welcome. It's time for the mother to give away her daughter. It's always emotional at this time of the wedding. My middle sister-in-law, eldest daughter, decorated the bedroom for the bride and groom to stay in when they come to the bride's mum's house. In my house, my brother-in-law's daughter is making the dessert. She is making milk cake for the bride and groom tomorrow. It's Friday morning. We're getting everything ready in the marquee, ready for the bride and groom and the groom's immediate families to come and eat lunch.
the bride and groom are about five minutes away. We're just getting the starter onto the plates ready for them. The groom's family have left. We're just doing a little ceremony just for fun for the bride and groom. Also, we have the chicken and rice pal that we do as well. It's Sunday morning and some of us are going to the groom's house with the bride and groom. It will take about three and a half hours to get there. We have arrived at the groom's house. They also did a marquee in their garden. This display area they did in one of the sides of their living room looks really nice. It's a dessert table and niblets as well. Now it's time for us to eat and enjoy each other's company. We are on our way home now, we had a great time, great company, made the new couple stay blessed and happy. Thank you all very much for watching, if you are new to my channel please subscribe, comment and like.